Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. In today's video, it's a really exciting one because we're gonna introduce you to our new flock member. You can kind of see the cage behind me. Um, we've had lots of different guesses. A lot of people said ringnecks. Um, I would love to have a ringneck in the future. It's one of my dream birds, but we definitely do not have space to accommodate a ringneck where we are right now. We had lots of things like macaws and cockatoos. Cockatoos are never gonna happen, although feel free to save this video because I'll say that and then we'll end up getting on. But um, it may surprise you who our new addition is. So without further ado, should we see if he wants to come and join? So Charlie's story is he comes from a really loving home and um, I know they're going to be watching this and he's doing just fine. Uh, we're in constant contact with his previous home and they raised him really, really well. He's such a wonderful bird. He doesn't really have any behavioural challenges or anything like that. He's so, so sweet. He loves to talk and he loves flying around and stepping up and there's lots of things that we can teach him as well, which is awesome too. Now the thing that we're really excited about, you are good aren't you, with Charlie is we're hoping to bond him up with Olive. And we're going to be doing an exclusive Patreon only uh, series all about this. So uh, from the fish tier upwards on Patreon, you'll be able to watch us bond uh, Charlie and Olive. Hopefully you'll see our successes. You'll see the things that we find challenging as well. So if that's something you're interested in, all the links are gonna be down in the description for Patreon. Um, and there's also over 70 videos on there already if you would like to see some more behind the scenes content that's not on YouTube. Now, Charlie is next to Chip and Fish. Uh, that is where we've put him. So this is basically just the bird room now and our desks. So we don't have a living room anymore, but it's all part of the fun. But we are hoping that one day Charlie and Olive will be able to live together. Um, so that is our kind of goals and plans for them. But as I said, he's such a lovely boy and we're really lucky to have him as part of our flock. Um, Crimson Bellies are really wonderful, but very challenging birds. And that's one of the reasons why we decided to take him with us. Um, and if you're wondering why he is in the bird room, today is day three, uh, rather than quarantine, Charlie had a complete uh, vet checkup and full blood work as well for things like PBFD and Bornavirus and all that kind of stuff. And he did test negative, so we're really happy about that. He's a happy and healthy man, so we are excited to have him straight in so we can start working with him. He's DNA tested male as well, so we know that too. Um, and he has lots of likes and dislikes of different foods, but he does love his fresh food. So again, diet conversion isn't something that we're necessarily gonna struggle with, but there are things that we need to get him used to. So I can't remember if I said, Charlie's four years old. He's a Crimson Belly Konya, um, and we are so excited to have him as part of the flock. If you have any questions about him, we would love to speak to you down in the comments uh, and answer anything. And there's gonna be loads of Charlie content coming up. Um, and if you're wondering how to tell the difference between Charlie and Kipling, Charlie has all black feet, whereas Kipling has pink toes and black feet. Um, and they have other little subtle differences, different voices as well. Um, but yeah, he's just I'm just really beaming because I'm so excited, so is David. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed meeting our new flock member and you're excited to see where we go with it and again don't forget if you'd like to see that exclusive patreon series all about bonding charlie and olive do check that out down in the description but thank you so much for your support as always guys and for checking in and for just loving our flock as much as we do but for now it's take care and see you later